Our surface finish is horrible when we first put on our electroplated wheel. Why? If you take a regular grinding wheel, regular bonded wheel, pretty much almost all the wheels except for electroplated, we take a wheel, CBN diamond, aluminum oxide, whatever, and we dress them. And the dressing diamond basically says, here's my line in the sand. Anybody who's down below here lives. Anybody who's above there dies. So what we end up with is a truly round wheel with a truly kind of concentric flat surface line in the sand where we know we have the grits. Electroplated wheels, let's pretend this is an electroplated wheel, are a little different. We take just a, uh, a metal hub and then we just kind of drop little grits around there. Drop some grits, drop some grits, drop some grits. They bond to the wheel and after a while we've got a layer of grits. Now, we never dress that wheel. Basically, we just stick them on and start running. Now, some of those grits are lying flat, some are standing tall, some are kind of laying low, but what we get is a very random, big distribution of grits. So when we start grinding with them, we've got a few grits at the very surface, which I call rogue grits. So you've got one, two, three, four guys around the top who are just standing taller than everybody else. We go to grind. Those tall grits do the cutting, and we're kind of acting like a milling cutter. We've only got a few grits around the perimeter, so because we have such few grits, they take really big bites out of the material. Very low heat generation, but very rough surface finish. Now, some ways you can cope with that. You can get a conditioned wheel, but even then, you're going to start off with a pretty rough surface finish from these rogue grits in electroplated wheels.